hello friends in this short video we will see what are the different cryptographic modes of operation and certain concepts which relate to the exam questions which come in cissp so if you want to see the whole hierarchy you can go to my website uh, the itcrowd.home.blog um, and you can see here uh, in one snapshot uh, a chapter summary for this uh, asymmetric and symmetric cryptography so the topic which I am discussing here is this one which is cryptographic modes of operations so there are basically seven modes which are discussed ECB, CBC, CFB, OFB, CTR, GCM and CCM and there is a lot of information so I assume that the basic cryptography is uh, is clear and uh, we all know how it works so the objective of this video is to just give uh, a different perspective uh, to look into this topic which is cryptographic modes of operation and how we can commit to certain terms in our memory so that it's easy for us to answer some of the tricky question in CSSP exams so let's start for that I would like to draw it on a paper so I will write the I will write first the cryptographic modes of operation um, so what all modes we have we have ECB this electronic code book and then we have CBC which is cipher blockchaining and then we have CFB which is cipher feedback mode then we have OFB which is output feedback mode then we have CTR which is counter mode then we have GCM which is Galosis counter mode and then we have CCM which is counter with CBC message authentication code right so if we look into these things uh, what are what is the first thing we have to keep in mind so uh, black will not be the suitable color let's take yellow let me draw a line first okay so ECB so if we see ECB this thing uh, let me also write what what I am gonna uh, discuss about these modes so we will be discussing first that what is the nature of encryption for them so if I say nature of encryption or type of encryption so ECB is works on the block of data so this is basically uh, using a 64 bit block and is encrypted using a, a chosen secret key right it's a least secure method of encrypting any data right and this encryption is suitable for only a small amount of data keys and the parameters which are used to initiate other cryptographic modes this is generally found in the cells of a database right so so the point which we have to memorize here is ECB is blockchain not blockchain it's a uh, it works on a block of data right um, let me also another line similarly what about um, CBC so CBC is also an encryption which works on a block of data and uh, the other one is a stream so this works on the stream of data 
this is also a stream and GCM is also a stream of data and CCM is basically again block of data. This is because uh, CCM is actually um, uh, is a combination of the previous two uh, um, cryptographic modes. So, CCM basically is with uh, it works with CTR and uh, CBC. So, CTR is uh, used for the confidentiality and CBC is used for the authenticity. So, these two, two are added to make CCM right. So, since um, it is using CBC for encryption. So, that is why because this guy is block. So, this is also block and, and CTR is only used for uh, uh, like uh, for authentication. So, it inherits only the uh, only the um, block feature from CBC. Now, this is nature. Now, what about uh, the other very important uh, aspect of these cryptographic modes? So, let me take another color. So, what about error propagation? So, in electronic code book there is uh, no error propagation. So, error propagation is no because each uh, block is encrypted using a key. So, each block is different. So, there is no way an error can be propagated. But in CBC and CFP errors are propagated. So, yes, yes. Why errors are propagated? Because uh, in CBC, each block of unencrypted text is uh, doing a ZOR operation with the previous block of cipher, cipher text, right? So, if there is uh, a corruption in the previous block of cipher text, then this pro uh, corruption will actually cascade to all the, uh, you know, coming block of data. Similarly, in CFP, CFP is nothing but the streaming version of CBC. So, this also propagates the, uh, the error, right. But in OFP, output feedback mode, the, the, the ZOR operation is against a seed value, right. And a seed value, um, like first, for, for, the very, for the very first uh, uh, encryption, uh, and an initialization vector is used, IV is used, and uh, this uh, initialization vector actually do the ZOR operation, and uh, um, and the next uh, next seed value is created by doing some encryption on the initialization vector. So the the ZOR operation is always against a seed value, and the seed value do not depend on the block of data. It's a different set of data, so there is that's the reason OFP do not do any error propagation. So this does. I will write this as no. This also don't propagate. This also don't propagate. This also. So there are only two um, two cryptographic modes which propagate error. Which that is CBC and CFP. Now. Coming next, as I talked about the initialization vector, so uh, let me write here IV. Initialization vector is used or not? So we definitely know that initialization vector is used in um, in CFP and CBC also use an initialization vector for the first um, first set of ZOR. So, the only protocol only mode which do not use initialization vector is uh, is ECB. So, here it will be no and in all other places yes they all use initialization vector right. So, this is also very important to know. 
so from exam perspective the column number 1 which one is block which one is stream error propagation is also important which mode to propagate error so we know that there are two uh, cryptographic uh, modes of operation cbc and cfp which uh, do not propagate error right now what they offer so if i see uh, what are the offerings so basically the all all of them offer confidentiality but uh, the last two one they do uh, provide authenticity as well so this guy will provide confidentiality 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 basically it encrypts so it provides confidentiality so confidentiality is the common thing for everyone and then this also confidentiality but the last two one like gcm and ccm provides one more thing which is authenticity authenticity right so this is important as and i think uh, we should have this in our mind all the time that these two things provide uh confidentiality plus authenticity and uh, this one these two modes are the modes where errors are propagated right and the only place where we do not use initialization vector is ecb this is also important to i think uh this guy do not use any initialization vector right so yeah so this is the end of video um so we this table will actually help uh, in in solving some of the questions which uh, i found uh, while practicing cssp exam there are many questions where i see a repeated pattern of asking that whether errors are propagated or not which one uses um initialization vector or which one is for both authenticity and confidentiality the other important thing which we have to know that the ctr mode basically ctr mode is since it's um, it's based on um, on something we call um instead of seed value it uses a, a counter that increments for each operation so that property makes it um, good for um, parallel computing so parallel computing so for parallel computing this um um Well, this mode is used which we have to keep in our mind and uh, yeah the other things like other properties we can see from the diagram which is available on my blog <coughs> what are the other things which we can we have to keep in mind like ccm uses 128 bit <coughs> bit block length right and uh, ecb uses 64 bit and there are other points which it i think if we if you know it's good but if you don't know we should know at least this table thanks for watching